Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be going over the Diodora N9000 in the Lyon colorway. So this colorway is actually a part of a bigger animal pack of N9000s designed by Leo Colakiko. I'm not 100% sure if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, but it's designed by that person. And the animal pack is actually dedicated to um, animals at risk of extinction. And obviously the Leon colorway represents the lion. Now the entire animal pack, including this shoe, is all made in Italy, which is great. This is actually my first pair of Diodoras, and um, what drew me to this shoe was definitely the dope colorway and the fact that it was made in Italy. And after getting these in hand, uh, I'm definitely impressed by the quality. So as usual, I'll be doing a full overview of the shoe, as well as an on-feet video, as well as my thoughts and opinions on sizing, comfort, and quality. So make sure you watch the entire video. Starting with the box, uh, this colorway comes in a pretty standard Diodora heritage box in a simple white color all around the box. And it also has a cool uh, heritage uh, graphic on the inside of the lid of the box. The shoes also come with a cool fabric Diodora heritage hang tag, as well as Diodora made in Italy hang tags in normal paper. Starting with the toe of the shoe, the mudguard is in this nice dark chocolate brown suede. The suede isn't too soft, but it does feel high quality. The middle toe area of the shoe is made out of this non-hairy off-white suede and has plenty of perforations for breathability. Moving towards the middle of the shoe, there's this kind of S-shaped panel of lighter brown suede that starts near the toe box of the shoe that goes all the way to the heel of the shoe. Also in the middle of the shoe is this nice soft faux fur material, obviously since this is the animal pack. And this faux fur is very soft to the touch and it's in this uh, off-white color. Also in the middle of the shoe is this nice panel of very soft pink suede representing the Diodora logo. Moving towards the back of the shoe is this very hairy um, dark orange suede panel with Diodora 1990 embroidered in in that same orange color. The top heel area of the shoe it consists of a small panel of dark chocolate suede, the same suede featured in the toe box, and some orange suede that isn't as hairy at the very top. The inside of the shoe basically mirrors the outside of the shoe with the same colors and materials. The lace eyelets are in this nice soft uh, kind of golden brown suede and the top lace eyelets uh, have these green plastic um, hits. The tongue of the shoe is made up of some off-white suede as well as a panel of chocolate brown suede with Diodora Heritage Made in Italy in this dark cream color. The Lyon colorway of the shoe comes with a nice bright yellow pair of laces, but also comes with a pair of bright pink laces that matches the color of the Diodora logo on the shoe. I personally like the contrast with the yellow laces the best, but those pink laces are very tempting too. The heel area of the shoe is lined in some standard fabric liner in white, and the insoles of the shoe are actually entirely leather, with the Diodora Heritage branding, as well as a shout out to the designer of the pack. The midsole of the shoe is made out of rubbers in green, uh, gray, pink, and some yellows. The outsole of the shoe is done in a dark brown color with some Diodora branding. So now that the overview of the shoe is out of the way, I'll lace these up and I'll show you how they look on feet. So as for sizing, the Diodora N9000 in the Lyon colorway 
I'd say go down half a size. Uh, I was only able to get these in a size 9. In most New Balances and some, even some Nikes, I am usually a true size 9.5. I expected these in a size 9 to be um, a little snug, but after trying them on feet, um, they actually fit well, almost like, I guess, for Diodores, for me, maybe size 9 is my true size. So I'd say, um, I'd say go down half a size from whatever your true size is in New Balance or Nikes. But as I always say, if you have the chance to try these on before you buy them, I definitely recommend you do that since everyone's feet are different. As for comfort, um, there's nothing too spectacular. It's everything you'd expect from a retro runner model. Uh, you're not buying these for comfort or anything. You're buying these for the quality and the excellent colorway. Speaking of the quality, um, obviously a made in Italy shoe. I have high expectations and those expectations were definitely met. The suede's and the faux furs uh, felt excellent. Um, they were definitely soft to the touch and they feel good around your feet. They don't need to be broken in and that leather insole uh, is definitely high quality as well. Overall, for my second pair of Made in Italy shoes and for my first pair of Diodoras, I'm definitely impressed. Especially the fact that I was able to get these for under retail. These actually retailed for a high price of $240, but I was able to get these um, from a shoe seller on eBay, a uh, brand new dead stock, for only $175. So that was definitely a steal price for an excellent colorway and a great quality shoe. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials and I'll catch you in the next one.